Today you're going to be creating a Photoshop template and what you're looking at right now probably looks pretty easy to create but we're actually going to be learning a few tools that you have not used before. Those tools will be the ruler, we're going to look at how to duplicate shapes, then we're going to look at aligning properly with your aligning alignment tools, um, we're going to look at white space and what white space is and how to use it properly. And we are going to look at your text and your text layers and how to use that. So if you don't have your rulers, let's go ahead and get those open. You're going to have a ruler at the top and at the side. To get those open, you're going to go to view and click on rulers. I already have mine on, so it has the check mark. If you don't, go ahead and click on that and you will have your rulers open. Once you do that, let's go ahead and open up a new document so you can start on your template. We want our document to go ahead and be the size of a normal piece of paper, and that is 8.5 wide and 11, high, 11 inches high. So I'm going to go File and New. And so the width is 8.5, height is 11 and we will probably print these out so we want the resolution to be 300. Anytime you're printing something out the resolution should be 300. If you're keeping something digital you want the resolution to be 72. The background contents yours should be white. I don't know why mine was on transparent but we're going to go ahead and do white. So here we have just a white background and we are ready for our first square. If you don't have your shapes already selected, you can do the keyboard shortcut U. Just press the U key and you will see your shapes go ahead and pop up. I have my line selected, so I'm going to click and hold down and I will get my rectangle. I'm not going to worry about my shape being a three by three square, which is what I want. I'm just going to hold down my shift key and click and get a square on the page. Then I'm going to do control plus to zoom in so that my, my sheet is on the zero. Then I'm going to go to my move tool, which is right up here in the corner. It's the very top one. And I'm going to move my square up to that corner. Now to make sure that we have a perfect square, we hit that shift key again and we go to this corner. That makes sure that it stays as a square. And I'm going to look right up here and you see that little line will go across my ruler. So I'm going to keep holding down shift and I look at that line and I make sure that my ruler goes to three and that the edge of my square is on three. Once I get to that spot, I let go of my mouse and then I let go of my shift button and then I have to hit enter to accept those changes in my square. So now I have a square that is three by three. I'm going to go ahead and do control minus and now I have, you can see my page a little bit better. I have my square and I'm ready to duplicate that. Now. I have no idea why, but in the design world, templates are always done in gray. I honestly don't care what color yours is, but I always have mine in gray. So I'm going to go over here on my layers area and I double click on this little um, black square and I'm just going to pick a gray and hit OK. Now instead of doing that whole process over again, I'm going to right click where it says shape one over here in my layers, duplicate the layer and hit OK and do that another time. Right click and duplicate the layer. That's how I get my three squares. They're all just hiding behind. If I wanted to, I could also click and drag down to my new layer icon and that would give me another square also. So now I have my three layers and I can click and drag these down to spread them out. And now what I want to do to, uh, 
to spread these out is I want to put my top square approximately where I want it and put my bottom square approximately where I want it. And this is where we're going to talk about white space. White space is the area outside of my squares. Now in this document, it just happens to be white space, but if this background were black, it would be the same thing. White space just means the blank area in your document. This is a term that you'll hear a lot in the graphic design area or um, in the yearbook world. So I want my white space here to be the same as my white space here. It's not quite the same, so I'm gonna use my arrows on my keypad to make them about the same. And then I'm just gonna throw my middle square anywhere. It doesn't matter where they are because we're gonna, going to use our alignment tools to make them be perfectly aligned. So I have my top one about where I want it. I have my I have my top one about where I want it and I have my bottom one about where I want it. So now I make sure I'm on my move tool and I go in my white space and I click and I drag to highlight all three. Now I'm going to go up here in this area. These are my alignment tools. And if you'll notice, they have little boxes with little lines through them. And that shows how these boxes are going to be aligned. This is the one that is center align. And if you hover over it, it will show you align horizontal centers. And what that means is if I click on this, you can barely see it, but there's a little crosshair. And that means that all of these squares are going to be aligned along the horizontal center. So if I click and I drag, it will align these along this line. So if I click, it just jumps them to be perfectly aligned center. Now, I want this space right here, this white space, to be exactly the same. And it looks pretty close, but I'm going to click and drag. And for this one, I want distribute vertical centers. So I'm going to click there, and that center square barely moved. But now our white space here and here is perfectly the same. It perfectly matches. Now, that's not very impressive for three boxes, but when you have 20 different items and you do that and they all go bloop and they match up perfectly, it's a lot more impressive. So just trust me on that or put a whole bunch of boxes and watch it do its thing. And it is, it's very nice to be able to do that. So now we have three boxes that are perfectly matched. And now we make sure that the white space up here and down here are exactly, and they look pretty good. So we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it good. Now, if we look at our example, we had three right here, and now we need two over here. Well, we don't wanna do that whole process over again. So what we're gonna do is copy these. Now we can either right click or duplicate, or we can click and drag and so now we have three extra shapes. And I'm just going to take my over key on my keyboard and move these over. Now again, we care about our white space. And we want the white space here in the center to match the white space here. So you move it over until those two match. And that looks pretty close. Now we want the white space on the outsides to match. Now this document is not going to be equal. So the closest we can get is the white space up here to match the white space down here, which it already does. Now what you have to look at is does this white space match this white space? And it doesn't. So I'm going to click and drag and highlight all of those. And then I'm going to bring it over and eyeball it until they're about the same. We can use our rulers, and if you want to, you are more than welcome to, um, but we can pretty much tell that now these are about the same. So now we have six squares um, on our template. If you look at my original example, we only need five. So at this point, you can choose 
which square to get rid of. In my original example, I got rid of the bottom right hand corner. It doesn't matter, that's completely your choice. We can go ahead and get rid of this one. It's That's completely up to you. So I just click on the one that I want to get rid of, whichever one it might be, and I press delete to get rid of that one. So now you have your boxes aligned, you have the white space aligned, and you are ready for your text. To get your text in there, you go over to the T, or you can just hit your T on your keyboard and it will jump to the text. We always use text layers, we never use text boxes. So I'm going to click one time to just get my text on there. If you notice, it is way too small, but we don't care. We're just going to start typing. So I'm going to type my first name. Then I hit my enter key on my number pad and that will take me out of my text layer. And then I click again and put my last name in and hit my enter key on my text layer. Then I go over to my move key, my move tool, click and drag to select them. Always hold down your shift key to make sure that you don't make your name, that you don't distort your name too skinny or too fat. Hold enter to accept those changes. And then I'm gonna move it around. Now the thing that I love about Photoshop is that you can manipulate what your text looks like. If you go to window and character, it will open up these options. So right now I have it on um, this option with the big caps and the little caps. So if I wanted my, my last name to be all caps, I could go like this and then my first name, just like it is, and let's say I wanted to do this. We're just gonna kind of play around. Make it so that your name is no bigger than the squares. If you wanted to, you could go in and put a line of color in there. You can change the color of your name. That's completely up to you. Just kind of play around with that. But that is your template. At this point, you would save your template and you would be ready for the next step.